Rock Boxing World, JF Sports. So there's no sense of prolonging these predictions of all of us. Um, you guys know Golovkin and Lemieux will be facing each other this uh, next Saturday, October 17th. And uh, I want to give you guys my prediction, you know, my opinions and my criticisms and who I think is going to win, why, right? Now, Golovkin, undefeated guy, you know what I'm saying? He's got his reputation. You guys know who he is. He's known. David Lemieux, as far as reputation-wise, he's a, a very hard puncher, a solid competitor to, uh, to his past opponents. Um, he's never faced somebody like Golovkin and vice versa. And still contrary to popular belief to somebody. To somebody and some of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think that Golovkin, without any further ado, is going to win the fight. I think that the fight is not going to go all 12 rounds. And I've mentioned to you guys this before. I think Golovkin is going to knock out Lemieux within six rounds. Okay. I'm not saying that Lemieux is not going to give a good fight. I don't think, not at all. You know what I'm saying? I think that Lemieux is going to go out there and do what he does best and try to end the fight and try to actually outbox Golovkin and try to knock him out. I think so. I think it's going to be some slugfest. I think there's going to be a lot of toe-to-toe, -to -toe, um, especially uh, comes probably the second, third round and stuff like that. I think the first round will be somewhat of a feeling each other type of stuff, you know. But I see Golovkin would be uh, a little bit more cautious in this fight. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be able to just take punches from Lemieux of how he took punches from Monroe the last fight. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to let that happen. I don't think he should if he's if that's his plan to let Lemieux, you know what I'm saying, hit him and stuff. Okay, that's not a good idea. You know, I don't think so because Lemieux got enough power to actually put down Golovkin. You know what I'm saying? We all know that. But the case here, as also Golovkin had said in the previews, that his training camp for the uh, Lemieux fight is a little different. You know what I'm saying? He actually worked hard. He actually worked some defense and um, some actual heavy, heavy punching. You know what I'm saying? So he worked really hard for this fight, and that's vice versa. That's also Lemieux. Lemieux worked harder than he's ever worked before in his training camps, you know, um, for this fight. So I think that Lemieux would be competitive, you know what I'm saying, I don't think that it's going to be, I don't think that Lemieux is going to come out victorious, I, I just, I don't know man, like I said, these are only my predictions and my own criticisms, you know what I'm saying, you guys got yours, you guys drop those comments in the comment section of who you think win this fight, but as far as I'm concerned, I think Golovkin wins this fight uh, via knockout, uh, TKO, stoppage, some of that nature, six rounds or less. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's going to go all 12 rounds um, considering the fact that both fighters really want to freaking end each other quick. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a good fight. I think so. Um, everybody's going to be watching it. It's an anticipated fight for uh, for the fans, boxing fans around the world, especially uh, seeing uh, Golovkin with a, a solid competitor guy and a guy that is hungry, that has determination. We all know Lemieux has the motivation and determination to actually beat Golovkin, he's got nothing but gains. You know what I'm saying? Lemieux against Golovkin, it's one of those fights to that Lemieux has everything to gain and not really so much to lose. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he was undefeated. It's not like he's not underdog. You know what I'm saying? He's underdog in this fight, as Max Kellerman said in the previews. That you know, I think uh, Lemieux is seven to one or sixteen to one underdog. You know, in some um, sports books, but as far as being underdog and stuff like that, that doesn't really make uh, a difference, you know what I'm saying, we've seen a lot of underdogs that win the fight, that actually be competitive, and actually, you know, turn around and, and uh, uh, win, the, win the fight, and stuff like that, and the outcome was totally different from, from what it was um, anticipated, so yeah, Lemieux, as far as being underdog, it doesn't really make doesn't make, make any sense to me, you know what I'm saying, this doesn't, doesn't make a difference I mean, you know what I'm saying, so, but I think Golovkin has got enough talent and experience to actually um, calculate a guy like like Lemieux inside the ring. And like I said, I think they'll, they'll try to calculate each other in the first round. You know what I'm saying? We've seen that before, and this fight is no different from that, you know. Um, but as far as the uh, 
the determination wise to actually win Lemieux got it but Golovkin has the uh, the advantage you know what I'm saying being the the favorite to win the fight and being the uh, the so-called solid puncher and a knockout artist I mean you guys know Golovkin is not 20 20 plus his opponent straight in a row you know what I'm saying it's not 20 um, I'm not saying that you know Golovkin's past opponents were just the same as Lemieux, but they, they were close. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those uh, Golovkin's opponents were actually competitive too. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we gave him credit for until the fight actually happened, and we saw, oh man, this was total uh, different from what we we thought was gonna happen. So I think Lemieux has the the heart, but I think uh, I I just don't I don't think that Lemieux could take Golovkin's punches. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see it. I mean, they've had similar opponents in the past, and they have both knocked them both out. And um, it's just that whatever Golovkin does, or whatever Lemieux does in his past opponents that he's actually knocked out, uh, Golovkin did better. You know what I'm saying? So everything that Lemieux did, uh, Golovkin did better. But uh, it's not it's not a basis of, of why I think that Golovkin would win the fight. It's just that simple fact that I think... Uh, Golovkin is much more skillful um, than Lemieux. You know what I'm saying? Lemieux has a chance. Everybody has a chance. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, how you come about um, on the fight night. But I think uh, Golovkin wins the fight via knockout, stoppage, TKO, some of that nature. It won't go past six rounds. I, I don't think so. I highly doubt it. I'll give you guys my quick prediction of the fight. So I got Golovkin winning the fight via TKO, knockout, or stoppage again. And you guys let me know who wins the fight. You know what I'm saying? Whether Lemieux and you guys let me know why would Lemieux win the fight and um, and why would uh, Golovkin lose the fight. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys drop those comments in the comment section. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And as always, thank you for watching.